Okay, so let's take a look at question number four here. So we have a, a little bit more of a complex form here of this equation. Um, so we have y equals two thirds x plus one squared plus two. So we need to I just start to identify some of the things about the parabola here. So again, let's put this into standard form. Now, the thing with you gotta be careful with this is this question looks like it is in standard form already. Okay, but not quite. It's, it's been simplified a little bit, which can make um, identifying the coordinates just a little bit tricky. Okay, so if we remember, I'll just do it up on the side here. Standard form of our parabola is a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so the sign of the term with the x minus h squared has got to be a negative sign. Okay, and then it's positive k there. So this equation has to be slightly altered to be putting it into that form. Okay, so we're going to put in here y is equal to two thirds. That's the a value is. But now x minus one, x plus one, sorry, can be written as x minus negative one. Okay, all squared. Because that negative one is important. That plus one there has to be turned into a minus negative one because that is the form of what the equation is that we're looking for. We're trying to figure out what h is, okay? And then this is plus two, okay? And the form of the equation is plus k, so that's fine. Okay, so again, let's look at our compression or expansion factors. Okay, here a is equal to two thirds, okay? So that means this is going to be um, a vertical compression. It's gonna be compressed against the axis, okay? compression or compressed against um, the x-axis won't be as won't be as steep compressed okay and we also know it's going to open upwards because it is a positive value for a okay so that gives us some idea of what we're going to have there um, the vertex okay is now the important thing here so the vertex is h and k, okay, but only h and k when we have it in that form. So we've now altered it a little bit. So the h value here is negative one, okay, and then the k value is two, all right? So this is the important thing to remember that if it is x plus a value, like in this case, x plus one squared, we need to rewrite that as x minus minus one all squared because that minus one carries is an important feature for, for getting the vertex coordinate correct. Okay, so we can put the vertex here at um, minus one up two. So it's gonna sit right here a little bit. Okay, now our x intercept, x and y intercepts. Okay, so this is going to make it a little bit more difficult because the parabola isn't now not just centered on the axes here. Okay, so what we could do is, um, I would just, you could look at just doing a, a simple plot, okay, or figuring out what, at this point, what we would wanna, we need, we need some points in order to make this thing plotted out. So we could try our table again here. So we can just do X and Y. Okay, and then let's just see what happens here. So we know when x is, um, we, we found our vertex here. We know it's negative one and two. So let's just put in here x is zero. So if it's zero, we're going to get zero plus one, which is one, and squared is one, times two thirds is going to be two thirds and then two. So x, y is going to be two and two thirds. So again, that's, that's a kind of a, not an easy thing to plot at this point. Okay, but we would like to get maybe another point here. So we have, um, we put in the zero. So maybe let's try when x is equal to two here. So a neg, or sorry, negative two. So negative two plus one is um, going to give us negative one squared. That is going to be one times two thirds, which is two thirds plus two. So it's going to give us two and two thirds. So now we've got at least three points here. We have our vertex, we have zero, and two and two thirds we can kind of estimate to be just maybe around there, and then negative two and two thirds, and we can estimate it to be about around there. Okay, so we, we 
ideally if we had a couple more points we could kind of see where this is going to go okay but we could sketch out a reasonable shape for this knowing that um, we said that the parabola is um, going to be compressed and what's the second here the vertex is negative one and two zero oh sorry I need to make a mistake here it's asked to open upwards, which means it would have to be higher. So it's two and two thirds is right there, and negative two and two thirds is right there. Okay, so our parabola is going to look something like this. Okay, and you notice how, you know, I had plotted those points wrong, but I knew that the A was opening upwards that I thought, oh, we, we have to have that correct. Okay, so the parabola is going to look something similar to this. Okay, now we could, um, we do have like an, a Y intercept here. Um, there is no X intercept because the parabola is never going to cross below the X intercept. Okay, so we could, if we were going to summarize this, we can say X intercept here is none. Okay, Y intercept, we did kind of calculate it. We said in X is equal to zero. So the Y intercept is at two and two thirds approximately. Okay, and then um, the domain um, is similar to the other questions. It's gonna be all, X is gonna be an element of all real numbers here. And then the range in this case is Y is going to be greater than or equal to positive two. Okay, and then that would give us our, our question. For answering all the properties. Now, if you wanted to, to just double check this, okay, it's a good idea to um, use another tool, okay, to double check this, this equation. So I'm going to jump into Desmos. Again, I'm going to clear my old expressions here. And we're going to type in y is equal to, um, let's see, two thirds. So we can let's try this as two over three, it puts it in as a fraction. It's nice, and then we're going to open up a bracket and we're gonna go x um, plus one. So I'm gonna type in my original equation. Okay, and notice how I put it in brackets. I'm gonna square that bracket, and then I'm going to put in plus two as our value. Okay, and then let's just see what we get as an equation here. This. I have to zoom in a little bit because remember it's a little bit hard to find the vertex when our scale was off a little bit there but our lowest point here okay if we zoom in is if I touch that point there it tells us it's negative one two so that's correct um, our x or sorry our y intercept is two and two thirds so 0.667 is equivalent to two thirds so that's where our point is Okay, and then it doesn't cross the x-axis. So you can see I'm just going to scale it out a little bit here. It is a flat looking or compressed parabola. Okay, and if we wanted to compare to our base equation, you can just look at it like this. Plot the original one. Okay, and then you can sort of see here, um, actually what we should do is plot the original one with the correct function here. So let's just plot x plus one squared um, plus two. Okay, and then now we can see that the uh, the a being two thirds does in fact um, compress it against the x axis, so it's 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 wider. Okay, as opposed to being vertically um, vertically stretched or vertically expanded. Okay, and then we've got our same there value for the vertex. Okay, so that's a quick way to look at, at going through that. There's a lot in here to, to, to kind of pick apart. Um, you often want to use your